Greatness does not tolerate laziness, right? If you want major things in life, in career, in business, you have to do whatever it takes to get there. Obviously, as long as it's legal and ethical, do whatever you want, whatever you have to do. You may have to sacrifice other things and leisure time and right aimlessly searching through Netflix or you know many online streaming services for a day or two or five or a few months or a few years right if you really want big things while I never share names of people or organizations that I've worked with or that I've experienced in any of my content um, and I won't do that this time either um, I spoke with a friend not that long ago and he was um, expressing his interest in joining a number of companies or organizations, right? He was excited to look for a position that's more suitable for him in a different state, right? He lives in New Jersey, he's thinking about moving, and he, you know, said, you know, I would love to work for one of these five, six businesses, companies. I happen to know someone at one of them. I guess they're not the CEO, they're not at the very top, but they're a decent um, organizational position. And I'm having drinks and dinner with them in a few weeks, mid-September, in New York. And I said, hey, you know what? Why don't you come along, I'll make the introductions, let's see if it can be of any value to you. Right? And the response I got was almost that that's too much work. Right? Without saying it in so many words. That's too much work. Wait, hold on. I got to get in the car and drive in. I said, you know what? Come by me. I'll drive you in. Or we'll get an Uber or whatever. Right? We'll figure it out. It's a few hours. Who cares? If this is one of the prerequisites or one of the building blocks that can help you down the road of knowing some people in that company, getting some FaceTime, maybe they can say something nice about you internally. You never know, right, how life works. They were almost annoyed about the potential effort and the fact that they would have to sacrifice three to four hours of their life of one day. I still can't get over it. I still cannot get over it. That we have folks, and he, this particular individual is a friend of mine. We're good friends. So everything I'm saying here, I already said to him and more. And I just can't believe that we all want things, but we don't want to work for them. Nothing major, nothing of greatness in life was ever given or handed to you or me or most people that we know. How many people do you know who have done nothing other than their trust fund baby, right? If, who have done nothing. And those who are trust fund babies, if they didn't know how to earn it, generally don't know how to keep it long term. That's a different story. But how many folks do you know who became executives, entrepreneurs, business owners, speakers, authors without putting the work in? You want to publish a book? Great, you have to write it, right? Yeah, and still market it and sell it and so forth and get a contract and agreement, but you have to write it first. So, I just, I don't know. It's, I know I'm going to post these videos early in the morning. It's, uh, it's later in the afternoon. And I'm a bit tired. Kind of first day back after a week off. Off and away. But I just wanted to share this because I just cannot understand that People have the audacity to dream big, to want, to demand big things, yet they're not willing to work for them. Unbelievable. As always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, share your thoughts on this topic or any of the other topics I've talked about in the past. And finally, he's coming with me to dinner. I made sure of that. Have a great day.